Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jimmy. Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. You guys were asking me if I can do JSON images, so I'm going to show you guys JSON images. So what you're going to need to do is get the these files. You can see them in my other video and you're going to need an API. So I have this, this API is for the top apps on the App Store today. So it returns all this JSON data and this is what we're going to be extracting then we're just going to be extracting an image just for this tutorial. So in here, what I like to do is make a function. Get image. Then you're just going to want to follow this. Let URL equals n is URL. <coughs> That's the URL. Let session equal nsurl session. Dot default the default session. Let task equal session. Dot data task with request and completion handler. And you want to do nsurl request. with this URL and you want to set up the completion handler then error okay so now if error equals null so if there's no error or I guess you can just do this or oh, never mind so if that's the case I'm going to set up the parser. So using this 50 JSON external library. <laughs> so that's what we're setting up. And then let's go to our JSON file. You can see here we have entry, which is an array. Then we have inside this, we have the image array. Then in here, this is the link that to the image of Clash of Clans, which is the top app, I guess. So then going here, let the image array equal to Swifty JSON at the entry index zero. And then <coughs> so we're doing getting the entry which is an array value, so we're getting the in zero, so we're getting the first index, which is this. And then from here, this getting also this image array, so we're just getting everything in this. So like, if we print this out, and if we resume the task, then we call the imp this function it should output so you get a small device Okay, hold up, let me f try and figure this out. <laughs> okay, we should try to get the first one, which is feed, and then at index zero, and you don't have to put anything there. Let's try this. Boom, there we go. That's what's inside. Now we just gotta keep going down, digging down. It's pretty much what we're doing. We're digging down in. We'll just call this 
entry array. Then down here we call this let the image array equal the entry array at index zero. <coughs> then we'll get the label that string. So what that's doing now is actually getting the URL for the image. Run this. There we go. That there's the the URL for the image. To get the optional way, just put an exclamation mark there. And so what we're getting there is we're going into the entry, going into the image name, and then just extracting this label. This here. So now since we're done that, we can start to put it into an image. So we can do, let's the image <coughs> equal an NS uh, URL equal NS URL, the string of the image array. Then we'll the limit image data. NS data contents of URL, the image URL. You could probably do this in an NS real connection and have be less lines of code, but I'm just showing you this way. And then we need an image. So let's go to remain.storyboard. Go to this. In image view, drag that in. Go back to a view controller and make an IB outlet. Wow, there we go. Uh, IB outlet var the image uh, UI image view. As so. Then we can do this, uh, the image dot image equals UI image from the image data. And then that should work. I'm just gonna put itself there. Let's build and run this and see if this works. Sorry, my phone just went off. So we are getting this error here. Um, this is actually a very simple fix. You just put if here, <coughs> brackets around this, and then we can get rid of this. Um, what's it called again? What are those called? You can get rid of that optional value, so you just make it... Um, instantiated so it gets called no matter what and so you can build and run this I'm pretty sure this is what it does I don't know I just figured it out one time and it kind of worked but it looks like it's not working here so found no by unwrapping an optional value <clears throat> let's see if I can work this out so if let image data so then we can just do this. Uh, maybe this is not printing. Wait, what is this saying? <coughs> Hmm. Let me think. If let image data equals NS data contents URL image URL. Uh. <laughs> 
So we'll do this if image data is not equal to nil. We'll just try this. Kind of spaghetti, kind of spaghetti-ish, but I'm just trying to see if this uh oh. just a second, let me see if I can. Hmm, this seems to be not working. Wait. We seem to be getting a crap. Oh, I'm literally, I'm retarded. I am actually very freaking retarded. Sorry about that, guys, but. To get this working, we want to just go to this and connect the outlets. Yeah, can't imagine the number of times I've struggled and then figured those that easy. But anyways, here we go. It's loading in, I guess. Any second, it should load in. I think. I hope. <laughs> Wait. I'll uh, review uh, self dot if it did load. I'll just call that up again, see if it works. So we can refresh. Here, let's see. Like it, it, it should load up. Actually, I have a better idea. Instead of calling this method, we're just going to call it in here like this. Instead of calling this uh, get image, because I think it's. Let's try this. Wait, hold up. Hold up. This actually might be simpler than you think. Aspect fill. Let's try this. Come on, load in. There we go. It loaded in. There's your image. Finally, a so that's how you load images <laughs> with JSON. Hope you guys enjoyed, because yeah, yeah, I did.